What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Negative Edge. And I'm here with my first attempt at a unboxing video. <laughs> this right here is the InFocus projector. It's a DLP projector. Model number IN136. And as I open the lid, so far you see a power cord and a remote. The remote does not come with a battery. You got to add your own battery to it. And give me a moment. I'm pulling out the projector right now. <laughs> Trying to keep everything in the camera. But yeah, I mainly got this projector to replace my Optima a projector. It crapped out on me shortly after a month of I had, you know, me having it. To uh gave it back to Amazon. Amazon refunded my money. And I got this thing right here. Another feature I heard about this projector is that it has a compartment inside where you can attach a HDMI portable device like a Fire Stick TV, um, Chromecast, or any type of, you know, small thumbnail HDMI casting Roku stick type thing or whatever. But later on in this video, I'm going to do something a little different. I am going to attempt to put a Raspberry Pi inside of it and see if it works and see if I could, you know run the Raspberry Pi from the projector itself. So yeah, they're gonna be, <laughs> I'm struggling to open up the bag or whatever to get the projector out, but you know, bear with me. <laughs> I got it though, I got it. <clears throat> and um, yeah, forgive me, this is like the first time I attempted to do such a video, you know, an unboxing video or whatever. But anyway, I finally got the projector out and there it is. I still got the plastic on it, it was brand new. I got it from eBay, as a matter of fact. I'll leave the link in the description. Or better yet, I'll leave the link on this video. Or, you know, well, not the video, but, you know, in the description. But it has two HDMI ports, actually three, because one is inside a compartment. And then, of course, the VGA, the video out and everything. <clears throat> and the top comes off. Now the top, you know, that little piece right there from earlier, it comes off, but I have to unscrew that little screw right there, to, you know, to be able to take it off. And once I unscrew it, inside of it will be some hookups. It'll be a USB hookup for power. It'll be a micro USB hookup for power as well. And there will be a HDMI slot, an HDMI 3 slot inside. See, there you go. And there's the cores for the hookups, one regular USB for power, one micro USB for power. There's a HDMI input right there, which is HDMI 3. So there it is. I managed to get the Pi 3. Uh, it's a B plus model. And I would recommend, excuse me, I would recommend using a small HDMI cable because the one I found or the spare one I had was too big. And you see I'm having troubles closing the lid or whatever. So yeah, if you're going to do this, Use a small HDMI cord. But yeah, just bear with me. I'll get it. <laughs> I'm struggling a little bit or whatever, but you know, like I said, I used a way, you know, a cord that was too long. And once again, I would recommend using a very small one. Go to Amazon and eBay, get like a one foot HDMI day boom, uh, you know, cord or whatever, or even smaller, it'll work better. But anyway, eventually I'll get it to close, so just bear with me. There we go. All right, so I'm screwing it to make sure it's you know tight and secure. <laughs> and I dropped a bit trying to unscrew it. Forgive me. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, um, that's how you take that top off, that little section right there for these model projectors. You unscrew it, you can add whatever little device you want inside via USB, HDMI. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> and I'm tightening it up. And once I tighten it up or whatever, we're gonna demonstrate it. Make sure everything kicks in. All right, there it is. Let's test this baby. All right, I got to turn towards my movie screen. It's a long range projector, so that's why the image is small. And I'm just showing that part of my movie screen just so y'all can see it. So right now it's booting up and it's a very bright projector. It's 4,000 lumens, by the way. 
and it has and it's fully 3D uh, compatible. That's another reason why I got this projector because I'm really big into 3D movies. But as you can see, the Pi is working. It booted into uh, the Raspbian image. I put my own wallpaper up there and y'all should recognize the icons on top. And as far as keyboards and joysticks and stuff like that, this is a Bluetooth compatible, you know, uh, small computer board, the Raspberry Pi 3 plus, uh, 3B plus. Um, it'll work with the four, but you will need a HDMI adapter or a cord with a smaller HDMI in. But I'm pretty sure it'll work with uh, the Raspberry Pi 4. Also, you'll need a adapter to connect from micro USB to type C USB for power. But yeah, I'm just playing with the features, making sure that everything is everything. But as you can see, the Raspberry Pi 3 is working. <laughs> it's safely stored in a projector. I wouldn't recommend overclocking or anything like that, but use the heat sinks that, you, you know, you could get with these Raspberry Pi packages or whatever. The reason why I say that, because overclocking is going to make it, you know, a little bit warmer. And normally I would use like a some sort of fan or... A little cooler or something for these you know for overclocking raspberry pis three and fours or whatever but if i was to use this and this was just a demonstration because to be honest with you my HTPC, if i just want to play games on it i just throw a bunch of emulators on that or whatever and it'll play way better than this but for the like the you know the retros the old school games stuff like that whatever that doesn't require a lot of resources this is perfect and it's all in your projector but anyway that's it